Okay, what we have today is a Zooter. Yes, it's spelled X-O-O-T-R, but it is a Zooter. Of course, I'm Dagwood Streets, host of the Electric Scooter Podcast. So what am I doing with this vehicle assembled by hand in Old Forge, Pennsylvania? I don't know why they got to say by hand. What other appendage are they going to use to assemble it? I guess they mean we didn't use robots, but what if the robots have hands? I don't know. Assembled by hand in Old Forge, Pennsylvania. What did they do with New Forge? Zooter. So I'm an electric scooter guy, obviously. The Electric Scooter Podcast. If you like scooters and you're not listening to the Electric Scooter Podcast, what are you doing with your life? It's available on every single podcast platform you can think of. Google Podcasts, iTunes, which I guess they just now call Podcast, um, Spreaker, Deezer, Spotify. The only one we're not on is Pandora because they say, don't put any music. No music at all. So I'm not going to do a podcast without music. So I just wanted a way to combine my passion for scooting and trying to get some exercise as well. Plus, it's very difficult to get a scooter on an airplane. There are certain airlines that allow it. And the TSA says if your scooter has less than 100 watt hour batteries, you can remove the battery from the scooter, put it in your backpack, and then put the body, the chassis of the scooter inside your check-in while the lithium battery is in your backpack. And that may be possible to do. I talked to somebody from United Airlines that said you can do that, but certain airlines won't allow it at all. And I just don't wanna be on a multiple leg trip and not be able to bring my battery. The scooter shouldn't be any issue at all, but the battery is one of the most expensive parts of the scooter. Anyway, so I thought a way to get exercise and still scoot and take it traveling. So your options then come down to the trick scooters, which usually do not fold, or a commuter scooter, which you can fold and put into your luggage. There are people, very smart people who know more than me, that say, just get a trick scooter. They weigh about the same, 10 pounds or less, and they are proponents. They like those better. I wanted something I could fold down. So this is sort of an unboxing and maybe even a review. Maybe the review will be a second, second video later on. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but we're gonna check this out today, this beautiful park. 73 degrees out. Oh, I didn't even need my knife, did I? Look at that. The real Amazon warrior carries a knife for opening all the packages you get. So let's check it out. See what kind of tools we need to assemble it. Look at this, one hand out of the box. This is the entire box. That's all that was in it. Just this right here. And of course, what would an unboxing be if it didn't have the obligatory tossing of the instructions? So let's see how much work it is to get the Zooter up and running without using the instructions. Don't worry, I'm not gonna litter. This is a state park. I will pick everything up when I'm done. So it's magnesium, 10 pounds. Actually, they say 9.9 .9 pounds, so it weighs almost nothing. It's already pretty much fully assembled. If I can uh, figure out how to raise it, 
then uh, we're good to go. Maybe I might need those instructions. Oh, I see a little, oh, look at this. There's a little button at the bottom. Figured it out without instructions and it snaps into place. Look at that. That comes off. All right, I'm gonna need my Amazon Warrior knife. Real men who open real boxes carry real knives. This just happens to be a Smith & Wesson. Extreme ops, you know, like opening boxes from Amazon. That's an extreme op, right? That's as uh, close as we'll get today anyway. So this is it, the Zooter Scooter. And let's see, how do you lift this up? Look at that, it just comes up. This is about how tall it gets. Wow, no instructions, no directions, just pull it out of the box, go to town. The brake works, got a front brake. And the rear brake, you just step on it Fred Flintstone style. It's very low to the ground, you'll notice, and the reason for that is so that you're not lifting your legs so high each time you kick, so you're burning less calories. How much is that gonna scrape on curbs? I'm thinking a lot. I'm gonna be jumping a lot of curbs in my future. Get a nice little card, Zooter Urban Transport. Old Forge, Pennsylvania, www.zooter.com. That's X-O-O-T-R.com. And it's got a cool picture of a foot. Thank <laughs> you.